All right, it's been a while. Let's get up to date. Happy New Year, first of all. It is the first week of 2024 here. It's been a while since I've given an update. It's been a while since I filmed a video, and I figure let's get up to speed. First order of business, let's talk about the calendars. They have all sold out, so I appreciate if you bought one, if you bought more than one, that was awesome. I personally packaged and shipped out all of these calendars by myself. In case you're wondering, like it was all me. There's no employees or anything like that here. There's no third-party company handling this, so these are all gone now and if you got one i appreciate it so if you're on instagram or somewhere else and i'm on there too tag me and i will repost it i love seeing this stuff this is the first year i got to actually keep a calendar for myself so all the previous years i did not but uh, this year i did end up keeping one for myself thank you again if you bought a calendar i really do appreciate your support next up let's talk about the cars so we'll start off with the 124 here i've been kind of neglecting both of these cars actually because i am looking for a wagon so the search for the wagon is still going on i have looked at a couple in person and they have just been all really rough they've been rusty surprisingly in southern california these rusty 210s are not really a thing but now that they're 20 years old and people have neglected and abused them they are rusty so i'm still searching i'm looking every day so in case you're wondering the wagon is coming eventually we just have to find the right one i don't want another big project i don't want a car that needs literally everything including paint and interior so we will get there eventually just be patient so i do have my two-tone amg wagon interior here as well as a bumper back there and a bunch of other parts stuff in this garage so i'm just waiting for the right wagon to pop up it will eventually find it but it might take some time so hopefully soon but that is what's going on with that as far as the 124 and the 210 are concerned the 124 is in actually better shape mechanically right now so i do drive this car a little bit more so all it really needs right now is tires because they are a little age dated they're over seven years old i think and the fact that they've been stored indoors doors kind of helps so that they can still be driven but obviously not too hard so this is definitely going to get new tires sometime soon i do have a new steering wheel for it which i'm going to film i am planning to put wireless magsafe charging in this so that's all coming pretty soon so what will definitely come sooner is the wireless charging i have all the parts ready for it i, I just have to install it and film it so that's come in pretty soon and i think it'll be really cool and it's gonna be fully reversible completely plug and play so that'll be really cool coming for the 124 i'll have a new steering wheel for that as well as a 210 so i have two new steering wheels for these cars which i'm super excited to do so the 124 will definitely get that before the 210 because it requires less to put on the 210 will require me changing out all the trim because it has specific trim on it and i think that'll look really cool when it's all said and done so these tires are definitely old this one is dated 2015 so that's actually nine years old now that's pretty bad but they still have plenty of tread which i know that's not how you measure how good a tire is it's definitely old tire but the fact that it stays out of the elements kind of helps preserve it a little bit longer but these definitely do need to be changed and i'm gonna kind of change up the wheels again so these wheels were refinished back in 2017 they were painted i don't know what color i don't think it's 744 it's just some generic silver polished lips and they were uh, clear coated and they're not perfect you can see the clear coat on the lips coming out so i do want to get these redone and i'm going to change the wheel set up right now it's a set of four seven and a halfs so i'm going to do eight and a halfs in the back they're going to be staggered and we'll get some michelin 4s's these are all seasons that's what's coming up with the 124 and i'm still running the clear corners way longer than i thought i would so i definitely do want to go back to amber at some point which i do have them but i don't know, just been letting it roll for right now all right so here is my 210 so not much has gone on with this car this past year all i've done really is new bottles in the engine base so new washer tank new coolant tank new coolant that's pretty much it i really haven't done too much to this car unfortunately i've been kind of neglecting it because i have decided i want that wagon so i've been kind of saving my money trying to find the right wagon and having as much as possible to buy it with this car has been neglected and it's been really neglected since i kind of want to focus on finishing the 124 which we're almost there so so unfortunately this car needs quite a bit in mechanical parts to get to the condition that the 124 is it's totally doable but i just don't want to focus on it right now if i'm looking for a car i just want to be ready to buy that car so this car is getting neglected and uh, i never thought i'd ever be at the position where the 210 is in worse shape than the 124 it's always been the opposite but that is where we are right now otherwise uh you'll see i have a new car cover on it this is the cover king sand stretch indoor car cover it's a really nice car cover soft on the inside and i think it looks good and it keeps the car nice keeps it pretty dust free it's better than the last one this one is really thin i want you to get the same one for the 124 so eventually we'll do that so in case anyone's wondering what i was using it is the cover king sand stretch i think it's the best looking car cover and you can get these in different colors different stitching they're super cool they're a little bit on the pricey side but i think they're worth it so another thing that i did at the end of 2023 was put on this fake carbon amg license plate frame so this is actually a real one the reason why i call it fake carbon is because it's just printed on there that is not actual carbon fiber but i think it looks pretty cool it's period correct and it is the right logo i do like the black one better so i'll be eventually going back to that but i just want to try it out I think it looks pretty cool. 
If you've been following my channel for a while and you pay attention, you'll know I want to put new wheels on this car. These wheels are not going to stay on this car. I think uh, for sure these wheels will go on the wagon. But unfortunately, there has been pretty much zero progress with that except buying parts to rebuild the wheels that I have. Stay tuned. Eventually, I'll get to that project. I don't know when, but we'll get there one day. So in case you were wondering about the steering wheel right now, I have just the two-tone black and red that matches the interior, which I do like this wheel. It's in pretty decent shape. It could possibly use a re-dye to make it look perfect. I'm actually really happy with the condition of this wheel, but I found a brand new, never used AMG steering wheel. It was an optional steering wheel they're going to offer in the early 2000s. Not many cars have them, and it's actually a really cool story behind it, but uh, we'll, it will require me changing all this trim out. So that will happen eventually, and there's a really cool story behind it, which I will tell in that video once I have swapped the wheel and filmed it. So in case anyone does remember, go back to my 200,000 mile video video uh, look at the date on that that's the time it hit 200,000 and now in January 2024 we had 201 825 that is how little I drive it so I never thought I'll get to the point where I drive this car as little as I do but once I get this car mechanically up to shape again I will definitely be driving a lot more probably not when I get the wagon because the wagon is going to be the daily but I definitely have driven this car a lot less than the 124 in the past couple years which is kind of ironic because I'm more in the 210s and I like this car more actually but that's just how it is so actually at the time of this filming, I have not driven this car in about probably six weeks. So that's over a month. That's just crazy. And as far as this car, it's been about a month. Definitely I've been driving at the end of the year, but the weather has been really bad. Actually, there really hasn't been much opportunity to drive. As you can see, there's a bunch of water here from the rain and I'm not going to drive these cars in the rain. Just if I don't have to, I'm not going to. Uh, I don't know if anyone actually looks at these statistics, but in Southern California area, when it rains, accidents increased by 500%. That's just an unnecessary risk to take with these cars. I don't don't have to drive every day so that's why i do not drive them in the rain it's not that i'm worried about the rain which it does suck getting the car dirty whatever but it's other people on the road that you don't really have any control over how they drive so other updates you might know is that i finally organized my garage so in the summer i took both cars out took everything out of the garage and threw away so much stuff about two and a half dumpsters full of stuff so no more giant stack hanging up here in the middle no more bumpers hanging from the roof it's nice and clean and organized and in fact before i got the wagon interior and the bumper it was actually really clean and organized i could actually walk around both cars for about 75 percent of them so i couldn't reach the back half here of the 210 or the front half here of the 124 but otherwise it was fully accessible i could go in the back open the trunk open the hood do a lot and it was really nice and unfortunately that did not last very long because i got this interior like a month or two after so once i get the wagon the garage should be a lot cleaner because i'm going to put so many parts on the wagon and i'm not going to keep them so i'm definitely going to be selling the interior that comes out of the wagon the bumpers side skirts all that is going to come off the wagon i'm going to sell them all but uh, much better i know it still looks kind of messy but it's definitely way better than it was before. So for those that called me out for my messy garage, yeah, you were right to do so. But uh, it's definitely much improved and hopefully I will continue to improve it as I put the parts that I'm hoarding on the wagon. Some of you may remember that I did have some brochures last year. So I did get one this year. Um, this is the AMG More Appeal Per Mile. This is about the 210, I think the 202. So really nice pictures. So just kind of highlighting the 202 and what they do to it. And here is the 210 side. So pretty much the same stuff, the braking system and all that. The C43 wagon we never got, which we totally should have in the States. This will be a badass car, but yeah, we never got it. So that kind of sucks. And I'm a big fan that they're highlighting the two-tone interior. I really like the two-tone interior. I think it looks great. I do really like the images that they put of the cars, the side profiles and all that. And here's the performance data, which honestly is kind of irrelevant because the car is just so cool. And this is the reason why I bought the brochure is because of the 210, of course. So there is a wagon, preface of wagon, looks really nice. So kind of similar to the C43 and here it is highlighting the two-tone interior and if you look it is specific to the wagon. This is the exact same interior that I have right there that's going to go in my wagon. So it is a preface of interior that I got so this is exactly what is pictured. This is what they look like when they were brand new. The two-tone seats are just my cup of tea. One thing that I like about this that kind of confirms my suspicions that this leather, sometimes people refer to it as gray. This is definitely not gray. I always call it a black and white. A lot of people call it tuxedo because it is black and white. However, this confirms that right here, anthracite and silver. Anthracite is black and silver is that lighter color. So I did actually get to take my seats to my upholstery guy, which if you watched my headliner video, you'll know his background. He actually has in his possession a roll of silver arrow leather. So if you know what that is, the R129 silver arrow that has specific leather that's like silver, that has metallic flakes and it's really nice. We compared that to this and this is actually the same leather as a silver arrow leather. That's kind of neat. And that kind of does just confirm that it is not great. It's silver. So in case anyone wondered, that is what I found out. Some really nice photos of the wagon. 
and I really do like this angle. It really highlights the dish of the wheels, the stance, all of that. This brochure really makes this car look good. So anyways, there's a little update about what's going on. Hopefully we'll film some more videos in 2024, some more 210 stuff, especially with the wagon. I've had a couple people DM me on Instagram saying I should film more vlogs. So here's a question for those that are paying attention. What would you like to see me film more of? So let me know in the comments. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that. Another question too is, uh, do you guys want to see more merchandise? I do the calendars about once a year. So I'm thinking maybe I could do something else that's year round. Uh, obviously I would need to set up a website and all that, but I'm thinking about doing it. If there's enough interest, let me know if you want me to do that. Let me know what kind of products you'd like to see. That'd be really cool to do it. I enjoy doing it. This is really fun doing the calendars this year. Let me know what you think. So I mean, now you guys are up to date on what's going on. So hopefully there's some cool things to come this year and thank you for watching.